Here are some snapshots of the progression you will see in this video. Here we go. I don't know what this little fella is supposed to be doing. Maybe juggling some balls or blowing bagpipes or something. He was getting mighty warm with that scarf on. There's definitely a problem in the gear train, isn't there? There's just two wires sticking up through that plastic going back and forth, and that's what's rotating his head. I'm just showing some different views here. Oh, it's too dark here. Let's take this over to my workbench where the light is a little bit better. These nippers are really handy for a lot of the stuff that I do for cutting these small rods. I've got a link down below where you can find out a little bit more about them and where I get them. While I'm talking about tools, these aviation snips with the yellow handles are just essential for me too. And my handy little Black & Decker screwdriver, I love this little tool. I put a chuck in there and uh, so I can change screwdriver bits and drill bits. It stays charged forever. The only thing I don't like about it is that it has no light indicating that it's being charged or that it has been charged or it's discharged. I'm really surprised they didn't put something on there. So I am not happy about that at all, but I love the tool. Here I've removed obviously the one arm and the left side covering so that we can see how the mechanics work in there. I just pushed that little drive gear in a little bit and it quieted things down a little, but there's still trouble somewhere in that drive turn. Okay, let's have a look at the other side.
And here's a look from the top without his head. Here's a look at the internal gear train with the inevitable result of me trying to do this with one hand holding the camera.